Hey, good evening, everyone. Happy Tuesday night. I just wanted to come on here really quickly um, and talk for a few minutes and sort of give honor and give memory to those who lost their lives 18 years ago tomorrow on September 11th. Um, I just put up a post, and it's the same post. I know a whole bunch of people are sharing the same post tonight. Um, and I wanted to come on briefly and talk about that and sort of how it hit me. Um, and because I know it's hitting everybody hard, those of us, you know, who um, it's a hard thing to forget. We all know exactly where we were when we, you know, watched the first, heard that the first tower fell and watched the second tower fall. Um, you know, I'll never forget. I'll never forget that day. Um, I was actually at the time working for Hillel. I was the program director, for, um, and I worked with college students and young adults, and we actually had eight Israelis on their way into the country that were supposed to be coming in that day, and of course, they were all diverted and ended up all scattered all over um, because they were supposed to be landing in New York, um, and it was, you know, I'll never forget that. I'll never forget sort of the, the fear and the trauma and everything else that went around that um, with trying, you know, explaining it to my students and working with my students and, you know, helping to get, you know, these young adults who were coming over from Israel and many, you know, some of whom had never been to the United States before and here they were landing or they were trying to land on a, one of the craziest days in our history. Um, you know, it, it's powerful. It's really powerful and none of us will ever, ever forget it. Um, but the post that many of us are putting up tonight reads, and I want to read it to you. I'm sure you've seen it. If you go to my wall, you'll see it. But it says, on this night, 18 years ago, 246 people went to sleep in preparation for their morning flights. 2,606 people went to sleep in preparation for work in the morning tomorrow. 343 firefighters went to sleep in preparation for their morning shift. 60 police officers went to sleep in preparation for, for morning patrol. Eight parent medics went to sleep in preparation for the morning shift of saving lives. None of them saw past 10 a.m., September 11, 2001. In one single moment, life may never be the same. As you live and enjoy and breathe... To enjoy the breaths you take today and tonight before you go to sleep in preparation for your life tomorrow. Kiss the ones you love, snuggle a little tighter, and never take one second of your life for granted. All those still dealing with the aftermath of cancer and losing their loved ones, right? So that's really, really powerful, right? It hit me really hard the first time I read it, and then the second time I read it, and I've, I've seen it a bunch, and I went on to, to post it as well, because it's really powerful. And we all need to remember that and remember that day, but we all have days in our lives like that, where something, we go to bed expecting one thing for the next day, and all of a sudden, life turns on a dime. I know I can think of other times in my life where that's happened, and I'm sure Many of you can as well, right? And if you, you know, are open to sharing some of those things in your life, you know, where things, life turns on a dime and things change really quickly. Um, you know, we've all had those things. And September 11th was a day that, you know, as a nation, it flipped on a dime, right? And it changed us as a nation. But we all have those individual things, those individual days that, that, impact us so strongly that we never forget where we are and never forget how it is. And it just reminds us every time things like that happen, that we need to stop and appreciate every single day, every single person that's in our life, right? Even if, you know, even if something's going wrong, I, it's a crazy thing in my head and maybe it's not so crazy. I don't know. But I always think about when I leave somebody, when I'm going someplace and I leave somebody, how, what, how am I leaving them? I don't like to ever leave somebody upset because what if God forbid, that's the last time you talk to them. That's the last time you see them. And that could be a really, you know, crazy, morbid thought, but it's also a really positive thought because how are you walking away from people, right? How are you, what is that impression that you're leaving? If God forbid that is the last time you see them or that is the last time you're with them because nobody expects that. Nobody plans for that, right? But unfortunately it happens and life can turn on a dime. And the more days we take being thankful for what we have and finding the good in people around us and finding the love and sharing that, right? And sharing what we have and reminding people, right? First of all, we're enhancing our own lives and we're enhancing the lives around around us every time we do that, right? But then when something happens like this and turns on a dime, right? You can at least say, you can at least know that you left the situation in a positive, positive way. Sandy said, very hard for me. We were in England when this happened, stuck, had to get home, but feeling the loss of feeling secure in our country. I, yeah, it was, I can understand that, Sandy. It was, it was crazy. I have a sister who lives in New York and she 
worked in this, she worked in the city and she worked not far from there. I mean, I remember trying to call and trying to call and trying to call, not knowing where she was. She wasn't in the city that morning, fortunately. But, you know, I have a friend, somebody that I used to work with who worked in the trade center and was supposed to be there and something happened that morning and she got called back. So she was late for work, which meant she missed when the planes fell. She would have, she would have been, she would not have survived it. She was high enough on a high enough floor that she would have been above where the planes hit. She would not have survived it. Um, you know, it's scary. It's really, really scary. And we never ever know what's going to happen the next day. We never know what's going to happen the next moment. And, you know, each one of us to stop and to, to appreciate what we have, that every single day that we are given is a gift. Every single day that we are given is a gift. When in, in Judaism, we wake up and, and the first thing we say in the morning is, is a prayer that thanks God for returning our soul to our body, for giving us another day, right? And that's so powerful, right? And it's the first thing that we say. That's the first thing that I teach my children as soon as they wake up that they say, right, is this, is this short prayer. And, you know, it's, it's important to, to whatever, whether, whatever religion you are, it's not about religion, but th being thankful for the, for your day when you wake up in the morning and thankful at the end of your day for the things that, that, you know, that you had a complete day and that you're going to sleep and that you're, you know, that you're here and all the things around you. Life is hard. Life is really, really, really hard and for everyone. And we all go through hard times, but it doesn't mean that we can't find our wins in the day and our wins in our life and the, the things that are positive to be thankful for. And it's really super important to remember that because each one of us that are here that are given another day, we are so much more fortunate than those who were not given another day, right? And we are so blessed. And so to remember that and tomorrow to remember those who lost their lives, you know, try whether they were working in the World Trade Center, whether they were on the planes or whether they were the firefighters or the paramedics, right? They were out doing, trying to save lives, right? Or all the people that are long-term sick because of all the, the ash and everything else that they had to breathe in because they were trying to help people, right? We need to remember those people and we need to be thankful for every single day that we have and for the freedoms that we have living in this amazing country, right? That, that, you know, we still have and that, that the terrorists didn't win. They may have taken down our, our the World Trade Center, but, um, and they, you know, but they, they didn't win and we're still here and we need to be thankful for that for every day. So I hope you have a wonderful night, a peaceful night, a blessed night. Um, go to bed thankful, right? And I would love to hear what you're thankful for. Maybe tomorrow I'm going to do a post of all the things, you know, everybody can comment on what they're thankful for. So think through it because I would love to see what you all, what you're thankful for in this world. So have a great night and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.